The agricultural sector of Ghana is at great risk from the impact of climate change. This is because of the change in weather patterns which determine yields and crop production in these areas. Changing climatic conditions pose significant threats to the growth of the agricultural sector in Ghana because of heavy reliance on rain-fed production and drought vulnerability, especially as less than 2% of the agricultural area is under irrigation. My name is Dr. Eligabe. I'm a senior lecturer at the Department of Horticulture of the Faculty of Agriculture. Coming from the University of Science and Technology. Agriculture in Ghana is dominated by many smallholder farmers whose livelihood depends on the quality of the produce they generate and the volume of the produce they are able to generate from the farms. If they are able to produce enough, their livelihoods improve if they are able to assess good quality and lucrative markets which buy their produce. But unfortunately, the effects of climate change affect their production, which leads to low productivity, low production and poor quality of produce. It is however important that the farmers are able to develop highly resilient agricultural systems, which make them able to mitigate the effect of climate. In order to do this, there is a need for them to adopt climate smart agricultural practices, such as use of irrigation systems, use efficient ways of controlling pests and managing soil and water resources in order to be highly produced, productive in the farming systems. We believe that if efforts are made by farmers, by donor community and other institutions that work together with farmers, their livelihoods will be improved and they can become major elements in both developments of the nation and in the communities in which they find themselves. Due to the rapid change in our climate system, most farmers have to resort to the use of wastewater for irrigation, which has diverse effect on the consumer of these vegetables. <laughs> My name is Nana Jantua, a broadcast journalist um, and also somebody into green initiative and green creativity. The reality is that some farmers have been selling off their cocoa land for Galamsey activities because they feel that it is more lucrative to sell the land for Galamsey activities than the cocoa activities. The reality is that farmers are complaining about the, the excessive heavy metals that are found in the water bodies and these same water bodies are used for crop production. So in effect, I think that climate change would continue, especially in our part of the country. We are found in a tropical uh, uh, part of the world and unfortunately we are cutting down the trees, we are virtually doing anything anyhow and it's going to create a lot of problems for us. We can do it. Let's think green, let's protect the environment, let's do the right thing. And I'm sure that if we battle with political will, we'll be safe and we can be able to mitigate the challenges that comes with climate change.